you first made it to the game room, you was more of like dancing, and then you had to go to the to the spitting, or you just put both of them together when you first came in? See, it was like levels. It was like, okay, at school, you know, like you the king at rap, but at the game room, they got grown people. So you the king get dead. So what you have to do is you have to level up. So you know it's like, well, okay, you know, give them the mic. And you know, once I got the mic, I didn't have to dance no more. Thanks. But you know, like at school and stuff, it ain't no mic. It's just yeah, no, you, you know beat know no chest, beat no yeah, 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 yeah. I got beat no desk. I got you. Right, you know, I conquered all them levels. So at that time, when you was doing your thing over there at the game room, was it anybody in your circle, circle particular that you were spitting with, or it was just, you know, you, Big Head the Dome Doctor? Did you have a circle, your crowd that you was going up with? Man, I had, I, had my, I had my partners off the block, and they was young, and we was all young, and you know, like, it's crazy because they all died, like, why me trying? You know, like the the dudes that I feel that was you know was part of my build up circle. You know, Lil Man, Tyree. You know, Lee 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 still around. You know, so you know, but like Big Thug, he was like the last one, and he died. You know, like so all my build up. You know, the ones that when you just rapping and they jump up there and get off them, you know, yeah, like, yeah. you know, they gone. Gotcha. So what age did you meet uh, Bucky and Ivy? What age you think? Was was you going to the, um, was you going there at that time when you knew, did you know Bucky and um, Ivy at that time? Well, I, I, I started Ivy to the game room. Now, with Bucky... Bucky was older. Bucky and I his brothers. And it's crazy because, like, you normally don't have two legendary people that's brothers. And, you know, like, somebody would have to be captain or lying. Just, but it's, they were real-life legendary people. Like, Bucky was a gangster. Like, his real name, Kamar German, he was a real... Gangsta, I think he got it from his daddy. And his mom knew it because she was praying and churched out. You know, like, she was, you know, God was preparing her from the time I met her, you know, for the things that would come ahead. Because she had four sons and lost them all. You know, now it wasn't just Buck and Ivy. It's Tavares and Talon, twins. You know, they died too. And, you know, rest in peace to all of them. But... Bucky was kind of sort of like my role model because at first he was quiet and he was like, you know, just trying to be an average person. But the way things were going and the side of 16 that I was on had all the gangsters. Bucky was on the side by the Yang that really didn't have no gangsters. It had all the hustle. So the hustlers wanted to mingle in with the gangsters, and the gangsters wanted to mingle in with the hustlers. So that's where you had to cross government and mingle in. Only certain people would do it. Now, me, keep in mind, I was from Detroit. So it didn't matter to me. You had to stop me. You know, once the South hit my blood, I was South Side. This my hood. Can't nobody tell me nothing. I'm ready to prove. What any other little nigga around here won't prove, I'm ready to prove it. So, you know, I rolled, I was the leader of the wrong crowd. So, you know, I, I Bucky was the one who started bringing gangsterism on our side. And I ended up going over there on the other side because I needed help. I needed money. I needed to hustle. And I couldn't hustle over here because it was all like desert dummies and fake stuff and you know, jacking and robbing and killing. And so I went on the other side by the Yang where they had a little life left. So, you know, I went to hustling. And um, Ivory came in then 
But he was like little. He wasn't hustling or nothing. But he was able to provide me like food and stuff because now keep in mind I'm 13, but I'm paying rent. I'm not hustling to you know mess up or nothing. Like I'm surviving. Like I'm taking care of my mom and my sister, so I gotta pay rent. So you know it's hard. So you know he like when his mom or his grandmother cooked, he would come because some of the times our lights was off. Like if my mom caught the pet, she was stealing. You know, and or you know or you know what you know how they go. And so sometimes the lights was off, and you know sometimes we had no food. So you know Ivan was right behind the gate. Now the gate made the separation from Blanche's court till 17, where you know his people stayed. So you know, like he was looking out over the gate, and that meant a lot. And I didn't want to teach him how to be bad. I didn't want to teach him about the streets. I didn't want to show him the wrong way, but. He wanted that, and that's, you know, he wanted to be a bad guy, seemed it like, you know, or well, he wanted the reputation, and, you know, just like Bucky, you know, but he didn't want to be like Bucky, or oh, I wasn't going to lie, I didn't want to be like Bucky, so it was like, I'm not going to, you know, we ain't going to push the envelope like that, so Ivy was, you know, more of a, uh, uh, like, I, sh I kind of showed him everything. Because didn't nobody want to show him. And like his mom didn't want him to see. And his brother Bucky wanted him to see. But he didn't want to show him because he knew that he was a gangster. He like, all I can show you how to do is don't give a fuck about nobody or nothing. And kill and you know stuff like that. But so he didn't want him. So he put him in my hands. He said, well, you know, you going to make sure he all right. Because... It was time Bucky would be getting into stuff and I'd be out there with him. And I'm like 13, but I'm getting into what he getting into to prove myself. So I done proved myself to Bucky. So now he's like, well, you can you can leave my little brothers. You can be you welcome at my house with my around my mom and all that and all that. So you know, that's how that went. So you know, we got like brothers, like real brothers, like we live together. You know, Bucky didn't come home because he was a gangster. He didn't want to, you know, like bring that upon his mom. Like, he loved her, but he didn't want to show compassion. So he stayed away. You know, even when he was around her, he was like in the other room being him, you know? And, you know, like, it was odd, bro, because, like, I never met nobody like that, like, and, and had love for him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah.